Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I am here with my latest design team share from Stephanie over at My Porch Prints. Um, I was given a bit of a challenge by my sister-in-law who was looking for a baby shower gift and she requested blue for a boy and farmhouse. And Stephanie had the perfect blue French farmhouse kit that I thought would make a really great baby album. I'm going to call this an album, not a journal, because I've made it with 110 pound cardstock. So all of the pages are very heavy and it's more like a scrapbook than an actual journal journal. However, as we get into it, you'll see that there are actually plenty of places to write, put pictures, things like that. So that was my hope, is that this would be kind of a memory book, if you will. And so that is what I have made. This is a, a fairly simple design. It's a manila card stock folder. Then I have added a lot of the stuff from Stephanie's kit. Um, it's three signatures and I've done the no sew method so that they can come out and actually be taken apart so that it's easier to write in, it's easier to add pictures, it's easier to, to do things. So it's more like a, an old fashioned scrapbook where you could actually take the pages out and decorate them and then put them back in. That was more the idea I was going for. Of course, it alligators, so I needed a closure. Uh, I have some of this scrap leather, it's kind of a taupey color which goes beautifully with a lot of the different aspects, the grays and the, the neutral colors that are in this kit. I think the colors are just fabulous. They're beautiful, they're soothing, they're calming. I love all those parts. It's held together with an actual um, suspender button. So I'm thinking suspenders farmers. My son gave me a bunch of extra ones. He always wears suspenders and he works on a farm. So I figured that was a perfect closure. It just buttons on over the top of it. It is not attached in any way. So it comes completely off. On the cover, I have printed out some of the different, almost fabric looking pieces that she has as part of this kit. I started with this really lovely white based ticking stripe. And then I added a layer of gingham that I did, I decided it was too plain being all square. So I did add this kind of lace effect uh, to the edges and I've inked it all up with some Tim Holtz linen. Uh, it's the lighter colored one. Then I added, this is just one of the pieces of ephemera from the kit. It was perfect to put a little tractor on it. Then at this part, this is a Tim Holtz die cut. I managed to find that it's no longer available, but I did happen to find it on Etsy. Um, added some Tim Holtz, uh, just, I'm not even sure what those are called right now off the top of my head. And then this is a piece of the Manila cardstock that I have kind of grunged up a little bit again using that ink. On the back, I've run some grommets through. What I found was that just by tying it around the outside edge, they slid and I didn't like that effect. So I wanted to make sure that all of these pieces of sari silk that are holding this journal together will stay where I actually put them, unlike children, if you have children. I wanted to share this real quick. She has some cute envelopes and instead of gluing this one in, I'm simply including it. It has a bunch of stickers. I printed this out on some white sticker paper and there's all kinds of cute stickers in here. There's the farmer, but there's also some blue roses, uh, cottage, all kinds of things, lots and lots of animals. I love this little duck. So lots of little farm animals, things that are farm-esque, if you will. And then I have three signatures that are 60 pages total. On the inside, I have just this very neutral page. Then the rest of these all are more in that color, the blues, the, the beiges, the whites. And so I think this turned out to be very lovely. Uh, lots of writing space. So I wanted space where she could add pictures, she could write. Some of these, um, Stephanie actually included two different variations of this page. She has some that are 
also striped or actually lined so you'll see that when we get to that we have i did include a little bit of ephemera i doubt she'll understand what this is because i'm guessing this mom has no no reference point she's never seen a junk journal these are the lined pages i was talking about i think this one's adorable hanging laundry um the the tractor so every page has been printed front and back there is no coffee dyed paper and this is hammer mill actually so it's an acid neutral it won't disintegrate over the years with the pictures um so the so the different signatures are basically similar but have different pages in each of them and again, plenty of places like, I think a page like this is perfect for including lip pictures, but also maybe the you glue down the baby bracelet from the hospital. So different things, maybe add cards. Uh, that's what some of the tuck spots could be, people's cards and well wishes. Another tuck spot, Stephanie started creating these tuck spots and I think they're adorable. So the way this works, it comes wide and it gets folded in half and then it's a tuck spot that wraps around the end of it or you could cut it apart and make it a belly band either way. So more writing space here. Um, I'm, I mean, some of these are really, really beautiful neutral ones. You could cut this up into different pieces. Uh, of ephemera or use this more because this is just a big collage page I love that more cute animals so because they're more of an illustration I felt this lent itself to a very sophisticated baby book and uh, I think it's a great kit that could be used beautifully for other things but for me, it was great for a baby book. Again, some of these pages like this are great to layer over top of. Uh, plenty of writing space. One more tuck spot with some of the ephemera. There's way more ephemera to this kit than I've shown you. And then that is the end. So, And if you're wondering how I did this, I actually... To make them, the two pages come out like this, it's simply flipping this part to the inside. So then you have two pages like this, and then you have your pages like this. Um, you probably already knew that, but I wasn't sure. So I am happy to share this with you. The link for this kit will be below in the description box. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through, and I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.